Good morning, class. How was your evening, class? Great, mine too. Welcome back. Today we got 13-4, part one. If you thought yesterday was easy, same thing, very easy, a little different, but a uh, piece of cake today. Um, no worries. I uh, hope all is well. You guys are rocking. Can't believe it's Thursday already. This week is flying. Here we go. Let's warm up with our molts and then uh, I'm going to give you a quick little lesson. I'm going to show you how to do this thing. And today we're going to be thinking about food. All right. Let's warm up. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30. Now we don't count anymore. 33, 36, 4s, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Now we have 44, 48, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. A 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, 66, 72, 8 and 8 are 16, 24 and 32, 40, 40, 8, 56, 64 and 72, 80, 88, 96, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90, 99, 108. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99, 110, 121, 132. And 12, how about uh, my friend and I, I saw today. I actually saw a bunch of my friends today. Madison, I saw Peyton T, I saw Brandon, um, Really cool. So Anaya, this one goes to you. 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, 96, 108, 120, 132 here, 144 there. Here's the 12, there's the town. Now we know our time so to hold me. Had a farm. E I E I O. All right, guys, today we're comparing fractions with different denominators, bottom numbers. Yesterday, we were comparing fractions with different numerators, like one-fourth or two-fourths. They were both fourths, so two-fourths. Now, we're doing different denominators with the same numerators. Um, so, what I want you to think about today is we're going to be thinking about food. Um, because with, when you're comparing fractions with different denominators, it's kind of like the opposite of everything you've ever learned about math and numbers. Because you always thought 6 is bigger than 4, right? True. Except for when you're talking about denominators in fractions. Let me show you. So imagine I have 3... Um, actually, I got some of Pam's weird rice cracker things that she eats. I don't know what they are. They don't look very good. They don't smell very good either. Um, but imagine I had this one thing, right? And I said, hey, you know what? Me and Peyton, we're going to share this, right? So I cut it into halves, right? But right before we go to eat it, uh, Madison and I come over, and now I split it into fourths. Now, what you notice is what's happening is the pieces are getting smaller. Fourths are smaller than halves, right? So the more pieces you cut it into, the smaller the pieces are going to get. Right? So, I want you to say this. Repeat after me. The bigger the denominator, the smaller the pieces. Say it again. The bigger the denominator, the smaller the pieces. This is going to be your motto. When you're in fourth grade and you're taking fourth grade fraction tests, you're going to say to yourself, the bigger the denominator, the smaller the pieces. Let me show you. So imagine these were uh, Snicker bars, right? 
and I cut this one into halves, so I have one half and one half. I cut this one into four equal pieces, so it's one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, and one fourth. And I cut this one into eight equal pieces, so each one will be one eighth, okay? One eighth, 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 one eighth. So if I said, all right, come on up, and I want you to take a piece of one of those Snicker bars, would you rather have a half, a fourth, or an eighth? And if you're like me, I'm thinking I would much rather have a half because a half is bigger than a fourth, right? A half is bigger than an eighth, way bigger than an eighth. So what happens is the bigger the denominator, the smaller the pieces are. So if it's cut into eighths, right? Well, an eighth is, it means the same size bar is cut into eight pieces, well, I'd rather have the same size bar cut into two pieces because that piece is way bigger. So the bigger the denominator, the smaller the pieces. And if you use look at this chart here, you can see the pieces get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. So halves are bigger than thirds, thirds are bigger than fourths, fourths are bigger than fifths, and so on and so on. So like, you might think to yourself like, whoa, one millionth, like one millionth of a snicker bar. Well, imagine you had a snicker bar and you cut it into a million pieces, how small that piece would be, right? You might not even be able to see it, it would be so small. So the bigger the denominator, the smaller the piece. So it's like the opposite of actual math, like where the bigger the number, well, the bigger it is, right? So check it out. Two thirds or two sixths. So now the denominator is different. They're both two, so what's bigger, thirds or sixths? Well, there is thirds, there is sixths, or here is two one-thirds, here is two sixths. So two thirds is bigger because thirds are bigger than sixths. Or if I have one fourth or one twelfth, well, they're both one, so what's bigger, fourths or twelfths? Well, there is a fourth. There is a twelfth. It's actually way bigger. It's actually three twelfths would be the same as one fourth. So one fourth is going to be bigger because fourths are bigger than twelve. So really, we're looking for the smaller denominator since the numerators are the same. So I have three eighths or three sevenths. Sevenths and eighths are really close, but sevenths are going to be bigger because sevenths are just a little bit bigger than eighths. Ready? Three fifths or three tenths. Well, there's fifths, there's tenths. Fifths are bigger, they're both three, so fifths are gonna be bigger. So just think about the candy bar. Think about if you're sharing a candy bar with two people, or you're sharing a candy bar with eight people, well, obviously the pieces are going to get smaller and smaller as you go, the more people you have, all right? So the bigger the denominator, the smaller the pieces. So would you rather have four eighths or four fourths? They're both four, and fourths are definitely bigger than eighths. Actually, fourths are double the size of eighths. Now this is my favorite one. Kids always get this wrong. Four fifths or four one millionths. But it's one million, right? But millions are actually really, 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 really small. So small, you might not even be able to say it, right? So fifths are definitely way bigger. Um, so the bigger the denominator, the smaller the pieces. Say it. The bigger the denominator, the smaller the pieces. You guys got this, all right? You guys got this. Should I try it? Ugh, not good. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy Thursday.